Thanks to Decathlon, I've got hold of one of the brand new AG2R team bikes. This bike isn't even on the market yet. The only people in the world that have them are me and AG2R. And to be honest, I might be depriving a rider of this one. I get to ride this for the next five weeks. I'm in a sunny climate. What could be better? Well, I could have chosen to not film up this hill. Unlike all of our previous videos featuring decathlon bikes where we either bought the bikes or donated them to charity, this video is a paid one from decathlon. So thanks to them for supporting the channel and making sure we can still put out content for free for you. Huh? Lunch is on decathlon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is an exact replica of an AG2R team bike. I've just added my Garmin, Fidlocks and pedals to it. Everything else is the same that the team are gonna be riding. It's a size extra small, RCR Pro frame set, but it's got a 53 centimeter top tube. So it's a long and low racing bike. I'm about five foot 10 and it fits me pretty much spot on. There's a few spaces underneath the stem, which I would keep if I was riding it uh, because then it wouldn't be quite as slammed, but I'm sure most of the AG2R team are gonna be riding it completely slammed as fast as possible. The frame says on it, developed alongside Onira French Aerospace Lab. Apparently it tests very fast, there's no way of me testing it here because I haven't got a wind tunnel. If I did, I would let you know. Have you got a wind tunnel? Yeah, just in my pocket. Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> do you not see it at my house? Wheels are from Swiss Side, which, uh, be honest, I haven't actually heard of before. It's a Swiss aerodynamics company, a bit like AeroCoach we have in the UK. They work in collaboration with DT Swiss, so it's DT Swiss hubs and a nice carbon aero rim. They're super wide. They're mounted with GP5000 tires, Continental GP5000s, tubeless version, already set up tubeless. I have no idea what sealant is inside, but I haven't had a puncher yet. And I've been riding an hour and a half, so great. I've now cursed Don't it. Jinx it. The team will have a few different depths of this wheel to choose from. I think they've got an 80 mil, a disc wheel, and a, a one in between, like a 60 mil wheel. Uh, these are the 50s, and for everyday riding, this is probably what I would choose. I don't want to go too deep and have problems with crosswinds, and you have the added benefit of most bike shops stocking inner tubes with a long enough valve. If you go any deeper, you might be in trouble. The team are going to be riding full Dura Ace Di2. This is the 12-speed newest version. It's actually been out for a couple of years now, but. My first time riding it properly, and I've got to say, it's just like the 11 speed version, <laughs> but with an extra gear. Apparently it does shift faster, uh, the front mech in particular. I haven't really noticed because it was already fast to begin with, but tried and tested. Shimano is always a safe option and I'm happy to be riding it for the next few weeks. Of course, DI2 means electronic, so it's a semi wireless shifting system. You got to charge it up by putting a cable into the mech and there's a battery in the seat post. And then you have to make sure you keep your shifters topped up because they're completely wireless and they take a little watch battery. The integrated bar and stem is one piece carbon and made in collaboration with Dada. It's not an existing Dada shape. So they have specifically made and aero tested a new shape of handlebar for the team. Riding it today, it feels really comfortable, especially on the tops. The shape of the bar is short and shallow. This one here is a 90 millimeter stem with a 38 centimeter bar. So nice and narrow, same width as my shoulders, and that's what I asked them for. However, I believe just like all the other bikes from Decathlon, they're quite considered in choosing the right size parts and components, so crank length, bar width, to match the size of the frame. This is an extra small, it's gonna come with small bars. If you buy an extra large, it's gonna come with much wider bars. In my opinion, it's always worth specifying your preference, if that's an option, and getting a fit first and buying later. Seat post is also an aerodynamic shape made specifically for this frame. It also has a little widget on the top which you can switch around so you can get your saddle further back or further forward. So the range is pretty good too. I adjusted this when I first got it. It was in the rearward position and I wanted the saddle further forwards and it only took me five minutes of faffing around. It was a very easy job that pretty much anyone could do at home. Because as we know, some seat posts are nightmares. Finally, the saddle. Look at this. It's my first time riding one of these weird 3D printed saddles, which look all like, is it, what's it called? Tripophobia, tribophobia. With all the little holes, horrible. However, it's actually quite comfortable. It's a physique with a pressure relief channel in the middle, which is made of softer material. So it squashes down in the middle. It says on it, 3D tailored zonal cushioning. Whatever that means, it feels pretty comfy. I'll let you know in the next few weeks, if I continue to get on with it, First time riding a physique since the Arioni years and years ago. 
much better. Have you ever foamed at the saddle? What are you talking about? I mustn't have rinsed my bib shorts out properly, so there must have still been some detergent. So I was riding and it was raining, and it was like being in a washing machine. I looked behind me, and there's like white foam all around me. I have actually had have that. You? Yeah. <laughs> This is the physique one. Yeah. So um, it was made in collaboration with Carbon Lake, same as the specialized saddles, but obviously different shape and different design behind the technology. But in terms of the material that the saddle is made out of and the machines that they use to do it, um, it's the same one that specialized did. See here, it's like a lot stiffer at the front and then on the sides. They did work basically a lot of pressure mapping to understand where people needed support the most and where people needed it um, to be softer. So yeah, here it's stiffer, here it's a little less stiff, and then in the middle it has a nice amount of cushion. What's the name of the company? Carbon. Carbon 3D. How do you know all this? I have uh, connections. <laughs> no, my girlfriend used to work for them and uh, originally worked on the Specialized Saddle and that is actually how we met, which is pretty cool, pretty badass. That was like how she won me over. She managed to sneak me a saddle, one of the test ones. This is actually like one of their early saddles. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but she doesn't work there anymore, so it's fine. She like sent one to me without my knowledge prior and I opened it up and it was really quite cool. If you want to impress someone, send them a saddle. How does it feel? It's good. It's, it's weird because I'm used to riding a titanium bike for the past two years. So when I get out the saddle and put power down, like it's mad to feel it go. And like I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is quick and nice and fun. My bike's fun, I love it, but it's cool to feel the difference. Amazing section of road this, the top of Mulholland Drive. You can see the whole city. No cars. It's amazing, this is winter. Such a good place to ride. Should probably mention I'm borrowing these helmet and glasses too. How do I look? I look like an 82R rider. But slow. Now I've got this bike for the next five weeks. But seeing as this is a sponsor deal with Decathlon, I won't be doing a review of the bike. However, we have got a direct line with Decathlon and the people that designed the bike. So, let us know if you have any questions or things you'd like to know about the bike, either from me riding for the next few weeks or directly from the people that made it. Now, Lucy got us lost. So we've been riding like four hours instead of riding two hours. I'm gonna eat this whole baguette, drink this half a liter of Coke, I'll be very happy. It was only just a little bit lost. And you said you enjoyed it. We saw. We saw the Beverly. whole of UCLA, round and round and round. The whole of UCLA. I thought we were going to have to live there. The sun's still shining. Knock on the frat door, the frat house. Please let us in. Bread legs. <laughs> <laughs>